Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial and guess what, it's not coming home, it's coming Rome as the Italians have been saying. Um, the Euro 2020 final played out last night and England lost on penalties which is just standard for England and they were beaten uh, by the Azzurri, uh, by the Blues, by the Italians and um, yeah, I think uh, on balance, I think they deserved uh, to win the tournament. They were uh, they were absolutely fantastic throughout, and they were great to watch. So, with that in mind, I thought I would make a quick tutorial and a simple tutorial, uh, just on a sim for a simple Instagram uh, Instagram edit for your social medias. Uh, nothing too complicated. It's really basic. So, if you're new to Photoshop or you're just learning and you've uh, you found my channel in recent weeks. Um, because I admit I've uh, I've not been as active as what I uh, would like to be, but that's because of uh, factors out of my control. Um, however, I digress, and uh, we can uh, make a Photoshop tutorial celebrating Itali it Italians, <laughs> Italy's win uh, of the Euro 2020s. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is, because I'm going to make this for Instagram, okay, I'm going to press Command N for a new document. So I'm working on a Mac, and I'm working off 1080 by 1080 pixels, and uh, for Instagram, anything more than this, and I believe uh, it starts to compress it. So if you just work off 1080 by 1080, and I've gone for a resolution of 144 pixels per inch, and I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to get rid of that little padlock down there and drop that in the trash. OK, so I've got some uh, images that I've uh, pre-downloaded. I've just been playing around uh, making this latest image. OK, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in this beautiful picture of Rome. Uh, so if there's any Italians that are following me, uh, it looks like you've got a beautiful, uh, beautiful capital city. And I'm going to place it somewhere around there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, uh, I may just keep coming back and referencing. I've got this uh, textured um, stock photo as well. It's a little bit small, but it does the job. All these links will be in the description below. And I'm just going to make sure that covers and hit enter. The transform tool. Okay, so we've got our layers palette over here. What I'm going to do is, so the uh, texture layer, I'm going to change that blend mode to multiply. Okay, so if we zoom in, you can uh, you can just see it just there coming through. It's just to add a little bit of texture to the image. And the image of Rome, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity down to 30%. Something like that. Okay, fantastic, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in Roberto Mancini. hope I'm saying that right. Any Italians that are following me, please correct me. Okay, um, so I did struggle with a, a quick selection tool with this one, um, but it's easy just to hit the pen tool. So I'm going to hit P for the pen tool. So if you're not confident with the pen tool, okay, um, you can just simply select mask just there. Okay, make sure you've got black selected. Hit B for your brush tool. Choose, eh, I'll go for a, a hard brush, okay. All right, and you can just paint away. And you can just come up right next to it and go all the way around, okay, and take your time. It's, uh, it's a technique that I've used uh, before in the past. However, I would strongly recommend that you, uh, you hit P for your pen tool, okay, and just click around and uh, just get used to the pen, using the pen tool. It's, uh, it's an important tool to use. Uh, however, I do digress, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut around quickly, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've closed uh, I've closed my path there for the pen tool. All right, so uh, like I mentioned before, the reason I'm using the pen tool is I just I find it gives you a cleaner cut, and uh, I was struggling with the uh, selection tool before. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, close your path, okay, and then up here, I'm going to click Selection, Feverier Zero Pixels, anti alize New Selection, and click OK. All right, and it brings up uh, our, our marching ants, as I like to call them. I'm going to press Command-J, and that should duplicate the layer. Fantastic. Now, I can just delete that there. Now, you notice when I cut the pen tool out, okay, we've got some nice, well, they're not nice, some sharp edges there, so I'm going to uh, select Mancini there, I'm going to select the masking option the uh, layer mask down here and you get this layer mask thumbnail pop up i'm going to hit b for my brush tool i'm going to right click i'm going to select this nice soft brush 
reduce that size and I'll bring the flow down to about 40 and the opacity down to about 40 okay and just to make his hair I'm just going to go around initially and just start to blend that hair in okay so it's not something you have to do but I just it's just one of my techniques that I've learned over the years of um, of blending in hair, especially in like a, a low res, low res image. So I'll just paint around here. So you can take your time with that. As so as has been seen, is not the uh, the main focal point. Okay, I'm not going to lose too much sleep on the um, on the straight lines around his hair and go for something like that. So if I just zoom out a little bit, okay, you can uh, you can see that you can hardly see it. If I disable the layer mask, okay, you can see we've made a huge difference there. So I'm gonna press Command T and I want him quite big so let me put him around something like this and then I'm going to bring in, who am I bringing in? I'll bring in uh, Lorenzo Insigni first. I hope I'm saying his, uh, his name correctly and I'm just going to drop him there. Didn't Personally, don't think he played too great last night. Had a couple of free kicks and he skied them both. But um, he played well throughout the tournament, I felt. And where is he? Barella. Barella, sound Italian? <laughs> I think uh, I think this lad did uh, did quite did really well as well. So uh, the Italians were fantastic. So let's just place them out. Uh, we'll put them about there. Let's compare it to the other one. Um, yes, looking about right. I think the signal is a bit more over. Let's have a look. He's a bit bigger as well. I'm going to pull him down a bit. So he's the main focal point. I'm going to hit enter. Barella. Just going to go there. And Mancini. And whenever I think about Mancini, I think about Man City and that that goal. <laughs> yeah, that Aguero goal. So I'm just going to resize him up. Go for something like that. Okay, guys. So I. I hope you can appreciate it. I am rushing a little bit. Now, if you notice, with Insignia, we're hiding this uh, horrible border thing that was uh, from the Guardian newspaper. So we'll go for something like that. Okay, and reference Mancini. We're going to come back onto this layer mask that we created. We've got black selected on our brush tool. Hit B again. And I'm using my bracket keys, sorry, to uh, increase the size of the brush. All right, and I'm just... Get rid of that hard line down there. Okay, just getting rid of the hard line first. Okay, you could increase the opacity and just go straight into it, but I'm just going to paint up around there and just blending it in now. So I'm going to come up, up between the legs like that. So we're gradually blending it in something like that and it's blending in quite well with the uh, image of Rome below and I'm just going to go along the top of the trophy blend that in and maybe around the top of his head as well and I think I can make him a bit bigger so let's try that yeah have his shoulder showing I think that looks really good I really like it when it's blended in Signe I'll drop you down a fraction Use my key uh, arrows on my keyboard. I'm going to go back to this layer, hit B again for my brush tool. Just blend that in there. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Barella. Uh, I hope I'm saying his name right. I like saying it in it Italian. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold the command down or control down on your keyboard. I'm going to hit this little icon down here to make a new layer. 
Okay, you get a new layer pop up. I'm going to go back to my brush tool. Okay, and you can press D on your keyboard, okay, and it'll reset your palette. Now we've got our soft round brush, okay. Select it, and I'm just going to drop that down like that, so we're at an angle. And we're still at opacity and flow around 40%. Okay, I'm using bracket keys and I'm just going to tap in some shadows underneath his feet. So start close, a couple of taps, I think something like that, and we'll tap one in the middle just to fill it out. And I think that looking that is looking good. Okay, next I'm going to add some splatters. So I want them uh, below everyone, so I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to my stock photo here. So the layers, you should have the blank layer. Layer of Rome, the texture, Mancini, Insigni, the shadow, we'll rename that shadow, and then Barella. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer here, and I'm going to click a new layer, so it'll pop up in between them. I'm going to hit B for my brush tool, and let's go to our brush palettes. All right, so if you don't see this, go to a window at the top, and go to brushes, just there. Okay, and it should pop up. Um, Special effects brushes, uh, tile spot brush. So these should all be um, pre-installed on your Photoshop. So if you don't see them, go to this little icon up the top and put append default brushes, and it should pop up there. You should have some splatter brushes. And there we go. Just uh, click to splatter in there. Now you can use black or if I press Command Z to come back. I'm going to hit I on my keyboard for my eyedropper tool. I'm going to select a dark blue from his shorts. I hit B from the brush tool again. Well, I've, if you mess it up, just press Command Z or Control Z if you're on Windows. And we'll have some splatters around there. And some splatters there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to soften them up as well. Uh, we don't want to too much in fact let's bring that opacity down and the flow put some down there so there we go want it to be semi subtle Something like that. Where did I put them on the last one? Yeah. Put them all over, really. Um, yeah, we'll go for <laughs> something random like that. Okay, we've just got some splatters in there. Um, again, take your time. Uh, make sure you get them right. And then, again, you can just drop the opacity down on those splatters. We'll go for around 75%. Okay, and we'll call them splatters. And then we want above Mancini, but below the players. Okay, we want another layer, so I'm going to click that layer there. All right, I'm going to hit T for my text tool, and I'm going to select uh, Allura. Okay, so that should be pre-installed on your Photoshop as well. I've not downloaded that from anywhere. All right, uh, if you can't, just find another... Um, Font that's the one I'm looking for that looks similarly like a handwriting style. So I've gone for this Allura and I am going to select this blue color here that I had before. I sampled that from the player shirt, so it's 004 2B2. 004 2B2, click OK, and I'm going to type A Z Z U R I. And Command A, let's just shrink that down. Now, one sec, did I? It wasn't all capital letters last time, so let me retype that. There we go. It looks a lot better when it's not in capitals. And I went for a nice, just make sure it's a size that uh, can fit. So I've gone for around 200. And we'll place it in the middle somewhere. So I believe Azuri means the blues or blue. Again, any Italians, let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'm not an Italian speaker. Um, yeah, and a couple more things. So I'll hit T for my text tool again. So we'll want this one on top. 
So new layer. And this time I'm going to select the font uh, Bertold Accidents Grotesque. Um, I'll just go for like a typewriter text. And we're going to go down for about 20. And I'm going to type all in capitals Euro 2020, oh, 2020 winners. And what I can do is Command A to select it all, Command C to copy, space, Command V, space, Command V. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'm going to press Command A to highlight them all. I'm going to go to my character tool. Again, if you don't see that, click on the window at the top and select character. Have you gone character there? And I'm just going to space it out a little bit that's a bit better and command a again to highlight it and i want this in black so i'm just going to select that color down there all the zeros yep fantastic press command t for my transform tool right click and i'm going to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise and i'm going to slide that just there doesn't matter where you put it That's looking fantastic. And just to finish it off, I'm going to press Command Shift Alt and E to create a stamp visible layer. I always uh, convert it to a smart object, so it means we can edit it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my ba -ba 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 filter, camera raw filter, and let me try and remember what I did last time. So. Drop the temperature down to minus eight, left the tint, exposure, 0.1, contrast, eight, highlights, let's have a look. Bring them up to 10, shadows, drop them down to 10, the whites, we'll go for five. Blacks, slide them down, maybe minus 12. Texture, bring that up to 20. Clarity, we'll go for 20 as well. Dehaze, what did I do for dehaze? Dehaze, I think I brought up to 10. Vibrance, gone for plus 5. And saturation. We'll increase the saturation to plus eight as well and click OK. And there we go. There is our image. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. I think I prefer this one because I took a lot more time on it. Um, but there is our, uh, our Euro 2020 winners um, image. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, like I said, if you're a new subscriber, uh, thanks for subscribing. Um, I have been uh, not uploading as frequently as what I would like recently, but uh, hopefully that will change in the near future. I've just been super busy with work and family. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. Uh, and if you've not done so already, please consider subscribing and check out the rest of my videos. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the tutorial.